Hello! Well, I've been shopping again on AliExpress and I've bought the cheapest smoke alarm you can get on the internet. So cheap it doesn't even have a back door. I think this was $2 delivered. $2. That's like a pound and something, or two pounds, barely. So, I've got one of these, 69 volt battery, and I have one of my old smoke alarms, which is an actual Kiddie brand. It's a proper brand name smoke alarm. And, well, we'll compare them against each other. We'll um, put batteries in them, put them up on the roof, start a fire, and see which one sets off first. And then we'll take them to bits to compare their insides. So, let's put batteries in them and mount them on the roof. Both smoke alarms are now precariously cable tied to the ceiling. And my bu fire bucket here, official fire bucket, 2018. I'm going to put a bit of cardboard in and set it on fire. <coughs> on Amazon box. Ah. My fire starter. Right. Let's see which one of these. Oh, wait a minute. I'm putting my goddamn even defenders on. It's happening. Oh, kick the bucket. Okay, your defenders are on. Let's start a fire. I uh, probably should have opened the door. Well, the kitty one works. Other one, still nothing. Still nothing. Let's take your you shop. Still nothing from the other one. Let's just take you down. You've had enough fire. Still nothing. So, the fire has gone out. Absolutely nothing. And just to check that it does actually work. Okay, well there we have it. The kiddie fire extinguisher worked absolutely as expected. Detected smoke, made loud noise, brought a light on, works fine. This one still has a battery in it. It does work if you press, it does, the light flashes in it. Makes a noise. Didn't detect any smoke whatsoever. House would have burnt down, you'd all be dead, and your little smoke alarm Hopefully it would have melted and burnt the fire as well. Right, let's uh, open these up and see what's inside. I'm fairly sure they just... Okay. So, that bit with the hole is the piezo buzzer. The bit that makes the noise, that bit. Uh, that bit. That's that bit. Is that a light? Yeah, right. that's the, the light. These ones have got a light that comes on so you can see in the dark, which not all smoke lamps have it, and it's not required. So there's a, a lamp in there. Now, that's the sensing module. I don't know which kind this one is, but seeing as it doesn't have the radioactive sign on it, so you've got two kinds of smoke alarms. There's one that uses ionization of an emitted particle 
to detect changes in the particle density in the air. So the more particles there are, the more likely it is for there to be smoke in the air. And it detects that. But this, I think, is the optical kind, where there's like an LED emitter and receiver inside, and the smoke gets in these slots, but not light. And if it just hits how much light it can see in the receiver, detects how much smoke there is. So smoke gets in, it blocks it or makes it light up. Or you can go and Google this. But anyway, smoke gets in there, detects it, sets it off, which appears to work as we've seen by the alarming. And on our uh, $2 friend here, which I'm taking my battery back because the battery's now worth more than the smoke alarm. Okay, battery out, and yeah, yeah, let's just uh, encourage this out as well. Oh, okay, wow, that's that's some real complex circuitry in here. What have we got? Yeah, this must be a generic module, module that you can buy for anything. So, again, it's an optical sensor. Oh, there's a, I don't know if you can see in there, it says D2 for diode, so there must be an emitter diode and possibly a sensor or vice versa. Uh, an 8-pin chip to do the thinking controlling. That's the button for, oh god, look at the size of the sounder. No wonder it's quiet. That teeny little tiny piezo there. Anyway, same thing, smoke goes in the slots, disturbs, upsets the light pattern detects it, sets it off. Or not, in this one's case. You do get what you pay for, I suppose, two dollars. But you will see other smoke alarms have got this exact same module, so it might not be the module's fault, it might be the programming the chip, or it might just be a really cheap module. Hell, it might not even work, it might be a failed module. But yeah, so, you um, get what you pay for. Do not people buy Two dollar smoke alarms. But, I mean, like, it's your house, your family's lives depend on this. Spend money, buy a brand name smoke alarm. You get ones that have got ten year lithium batteries in it. You can put them up in the ceiling. Ten years, you don't have to think about the batteries. Still test them every week though, press the button. Make sure they are working, but, yeah, buy a brand name one. Do not buy this cheap shit. For the love of God. You're better than that, people. You're better than that.